<laughs> Welcome to Field Hacking Skills and Drills, where you'll learn tactical and technical skills that we're able to use during gameplay. When performing the loose dribble, be sure to continually tap the ball forward while sprinting. Set up your six cones evenly so that you can dribble between them. Be sure to only use the flat side of your stick. Your goal today is to loose dribble through the cones three consecutive times before moving on to the next skill. When performing a control dribble, you'll want to keep the ball close to you and stay low. This will allow you to have the most control. Be sure to set up your six cones evenly apart as in skill one, and remember to keep the ball close and on the inside of your stick for the best control. Your goal is to control dribble through the cones three consecutive times before moving to the next skill. During a push pass, the stick remains in contact with the ball until the release. Be sure to stay low. Push passes allow for quick and controlled passes over short distances. For this skill, you're going to pass against a wall or fence. Set up your one cone about 6 feet away from the fence in order to pass. Your goal is to complete 8 consecutive controlled push passes that reach the fence or wall. Remember to stay low. The drive can be used for shooting as well as passing further distances to an opponent. When performing the drive, make sure that both hands are placed at the top of the stick and that no one is behind you. You also want to make sure that you're not swinging the stick above your waist, otherwise it would be a high stick. By keeping your arms straight, you'll be able to help with this. Set up one cone about 6 feet from the fence or wall for this skill and always look in the directions you are driving. Your goal is to complete 8 successful drives against the fence or wall before moving on to the next skill. Lifts can be used for shooting or strokes throughout a game. They can also be used for quick maneuvers which allows you to push the ball over an opponent's stick. You'll need to angle your stick and use the power from your legs in order to lift the ball over the cone. For this skill, you'll only need one cone in order to lift the ball. Your goal is to complete 10 successful low lifts over the cone. Congratulations, you're now able to perform the most commonly used skills and drills in a field hockey game.